Hey everybody, JRSPC here with another SGC grade reveal video. Let's go to the post office box and get the cards. Well, there's a key. And here's, uh, oh, that's where it goes. And a big damaged box. Hopefully the cards are okay. But, it, oh, got some fan mail too from Daniel. We're going to open up that on a video and we're going to just say a little prayer that all the cards are good. So, with that being said, let's take a look at Brigham City. There's an LDS Mormon temple. I drive down Main Street and we're heading home. There's some fun places to stop and eat that are popular in Brigham City which is a small town but anyways all right everybody let's get into this again like I said this is a blind reveal the very first time I've done a blind reveal out of all the submissions I've done I've always had to look um, but I want to do a blind reveal on this one right here so let's take a look at what we get here all right so first one is gonna be this little bubble wrap deal here there's my invoice and let's get into it. Let's zoom in a smidge and take a look. Well, here, let's just, uh, let's do it everything. Let's do everything the right way. Okay, there we go. So first card up, we got us a, like I said, uh, these cards were just good cards that I thought would be worth more graded than ungraded. So uh, I thought it was worth investing a little bit into them. So uh, second year, Brooks Robinson, one of the worst pictures um, ever taken on a card. Uh, unfortunately, one of the best third basemen ever to play the game, but that got a two right there. And uh, it's got some issues on the back. Looks like a little staining. Maybe it's water. Maybe it's uh, who knows what it could be. But anyways, <laughs> the front looked pretty good. So it's got really good eye appeal. So that'll be a it's a little off centered, a little crease. But that'll be um, that'll at least be a nice example of a tube because it's got such great eye appeal. Next one up, 60 tops, Roger Maris. There we go. We got to get the Rogers graded. Another nice looking card. Um, I knew it wasn't going to come back a high grade, but it's got great eye appeal. Look how nice that is. Nice looking card, and it's centered pretty well, uh, considering, uh, you know, it's a vintage card where they didn't care about the centering so much back in the old days. And here's a nice Hall of Fame rookie. Gillard Perry, I don't got a five. That's that's not horrible. There you go. A little uh, fun fact about Gillard Perry's second year card. It's actually on a uh, multi-rookie card. So it's the floating heads on the 63 tops with three other guys. But not bad. A five on the Gaylord Perry rookie. I'm going to pause it and dig some more out. Hold on. All right, next up. All right, let's let's do a little let's let's do a little guess the grade. This nice clean card again. 61 tops. Ernie Banks. Higher number card. And we got a 4.5. There you go. All right, we won't do that again. That was kind of boring. Anyways, we can just look at the card and uh, just see how nice it is. Just another nice example of a mid-grade card. You know, lower mid-grade card. Um, and what I would consider an easy card to sell because it's going to be a little cheaper. So you can sell to more people because not everybody has the same finances as, you know, some of these guys. Um, but so, so, and that'll be a, a really nice example of that card for somebody. Cheaper, cheaper price on a card that looks as good as a slightly higher priced one. Or higher grade one. Anyways, uh, nice 1960 stand usual centered. Uh, no creasing that I can see. Um, but it's got a ding top right corner a little bit there. But man, just a really good looking card. Very good looking picture. Nice clean back. I mean, yeah, this is a great example of a three here. So very nice. And someone's going to get a really nice card of a, a great Hall of Famer who is very undervalued. And it's going to be... A low grade, but a super nice eye appeal. Here's a nice Willie, 1961 tops. Now this has got a little bit of that, the white, kind of snowing, just a manufacturing flaw usually, uh, but nice centered 61 tops Willie Mays. Very nice card, and there's a nice clean back too. Next up, 56 tops Ted Williams. I think I need this one for my set, but I could be wrong. This Nels card's gonna be definitely lower grade. I can see some little surface creases in the back and stuff, uh, but we gotta get it graded. Look at that centering, pretty darn good. I got a one and that's okay. Got some creasing through his face, some creasing here. There's kind of like multi creasing everywhere, but um, you know, that's a nice, that's a great card anyways. It's a Ted Williams card from his playing days, so I'm very happy with it. I knew it was gonna be a one, but I'm okay with it. All right, here you go, a Louis Aparicio rookie, Hall of Fame rookie here, and a 2.5. Another lower grade card, a little bit of creasing, touched, you know, rounded corners. Uh, uh, but a nice, beautiful looking example of the Hall of Fame rookie. A little off-center, top, bottom, and left, right, but the picture quality is just fantastic. There you go. All right, next up. 
56 tops Bob Feller and a three little crease up here little one there might need this one for the set but when I go look I, I might even have three or four of these for all I know but nice looking Bob Feller right there good looking card easy card to sell even in the three all right 61 tops MVP Ernie Banks Mr. Cub a couple manufacturing dots on it right there too but I'm sure those didn't hold it back to a four centering's off a little bit uh, decent corners on this card though all the way around a little bit of a touch corner up there anyways nice looking all right, bright blue good picture good looking card right there another Willie Mays in the 62 tops that can come back a four hey we'll take it good looking Willie a little off centered but hey that's pretty pretty typical of these that's why the centered ones sell for so much but uh, this card I'll have no trouble selling at all because it's a you know, mid 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 career. Yeah, actually, this is closer to the early career Willie Mays because he played for so long. But good looking card right there. Nice color. That's the biggest thing about these is that color just pops so much. All right, there's a Mickey. I throw that one in the old Mickey PC. Heavy creasing on this one here, but that's okay. It's centered nicely. A little issue on the top edge there, but I knew it was going to get a one, but I didn't care because I wanted to get it graded for the old PC. Lots of creasing there on the back too, as you can see. So we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take all the Mickeys. And all the Willies and Jackies and Ted Williams. I got this graded because it was pretty well centered. I thought it was going to maybe get an 8, but uh, it was going to be an in-betweener, 7 or an 8. So, And we did literally get in-between, 7.5. So good-looking card of uh, pretty undervalued Nolan Ryan, in my opinion. So I like getting the 70s and even up to 1980 Nolan Ryan's graded. Here's a cool one, 58 tops Frank Gifford in a 3. Iconic 58 top set, popular set. This card's got a nice border on it, a little off-centered, but it'll be an easy one to sell. And the back looks like she'd been scratched. You can kind of see it there. Maybe. I can kind of see the image unless it's not scratched and it's just the image is <laughs> bleeding through. I don't know. Another Frank Gifford here. 57 tops Frank Gifford. Another early Frank Gifford Hall of Famer. Popular giant. 4.5. A little off-centered, but great eye appeal. Great color. There you go. Alrighty. I might do these videos in a couple different just because um, I don't want to be too long. But uh, then a 61 Tops Willie. Our second one of those, right? This one's got a little bit more of the uh, surface uh, snowing and stuff like that. But still a good looking card. Nicely centered. Just your typical 1961 rounded corners. A little crease right there, but very light. But uh, hey, it's a 61 Willie. We'll take it. All right, 61 Ernie off-centered, but uh, this one was a real nice, clean example. Sharp corners, uh, really nice surface. I'm not sure if you guys can see that surface. I'll try to show it to you better. Really nice surface. Uh, just off-centered. A whole bunch of little fish eyes around the black uh, border there. Uh, but nice card. Slightly diamond cut. That's okay. Nice card of Mr. Cub. And one of my favorite cards, 61 Tops Raj. More uh, manufacturing flaws. Those white lines are that was done in manufacturing. Those aren't surface flaws. Uh, they're just... Just, you know, poor quality control, like, like you would expect back then. No one, no one expected people to keep these. But uh, notoriously off-centered this card is. Number two card in the set. But uh, we'll take it in a three. That's okay with me. Good looking card. All right, another Mr. Cub. There you go. 59 tops all-star. Typical rounded corners. A little bit of a little bit of a border. But, like I said, we'll get more money for it graded than we will ungraded. There's the Willie. I mean, this Willie's a lot nicer looking than the, than the Ernie for for the same grade, but I think his corners are what really held him back even more. The Willie, uh, the Banks corners are probably yeah they're pretty darn close to the same, but the picture quality on the Willie's much better, much better. There we go. What do we got next? Another Willie. Apparently this is the Willie stack. 1960 tops Willie, and a two, but really good looking, really good looking card. This one's got a crease on the back, which you can see it coming. You know, kind of where the bend is right there. Crease on the back, but a great, great looking front. Uh, there's the back. Just that crease really held this one back a lot. I mean, it's not a, you know, gem mint card, but I think it could have gotten a, well, I don't know. There's a little issue right down here, too, on the edge. A little bit of issues there. Well, that's probably, I, I think if it didn't have that crease, it would still get around a two. For sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in that. And another 60 Willie and a two. This one's another nice one, just corner issues again. I um, can't remember if there's any crease. I don't see any creases on the front, but another crease I got on the back. There's a crease right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it in the light or if you even care to see it, but 
right there, yeah. Clean back. Good looking too. Very good looking too. There's an old Bart Star card. Third year Bart Star. 59 tops, the rookie being a 57. Which I have one that's almost falling apart. I was going to get it slabbed up as just authentic. But uh, there you go. That's a really nice looking four. Very, very, very nice looking four. Good example. Great color. Okay, next up. 1960 Bart, Bart Star and a four. I don't know what I'll do with these. I, I might keep a lot of them for the old PC, but uh, at least for a while. I, I enjoy them. Even in this grade, I'm okay with it. I really I really like fives, but uh, we'll take what we can get here. We'll, we'll PC these ones until we can get something slightly better. They have really good looking Ernie Banks. Um, I mean, just your typical corner wear, but out of three, but this card, look at that surface, is really, really nice. Good looking early, early Ernie Banks. He looks so young, even though he's been in the league for so long already, you know. There you go. His rookie card is a 54 tops, which I have never owned. And then a 1951 Bowman, Bobby Thompson. Now I got it graded because it's just an iconic player uh, with an iconic, you know, historical moment. And it's a centered 51 Bowman. Nice image. I knew it was going to grade low, but I just thought it was a nice card, so I figured we would just get it graded. There you go. Nice looking. Okay, stack number two. Okay, now we're on to stack number two here. Out of the three box, I should say box number two out of the three boxes. All right, first one up, 1960 tops, Jim Brown. Nice looking card. Third year Jim Brown. Got the three on that one there, pretty all centered left to right. Um, it's, not, it's a good, great eye appeal though. Just a really nice looking card. And look, we've got two of those ones right there. 4.5 on that one. Even better. Nice looking. I say that a lot, don't I? Pretty uh, off center on the back, but uh, front's got a nice high appeal. Okay, there's an old Johnny U. 59 tops. That's going to be uh, third year Johnny Unitas. His rookie is a 57 tops. Got nice color on old Johnny and the old crew cut. The old military crew cut. Next up, so we got two of these ones right here also. 1960 tops Gianni Unitas. Got the four and a 2.5. That's always been a funny image. It's like he was almost annoyed with the guy. He's like, can I take a picture? And he's like, yeah, sure, snap it, go. And he just makes that face. Hmm, there we go. That pretty off centered uh, and nicely centered on that four. And this, uh, that's 2.5. I think it's the back of the card is pretty off centered too, but um, I'm pretty sure that thing got hammered because of the centering more than anything. I mean, the corners aren't great. But, um, yeah, the hammer down right there on the uh, centering alone. This one is pretty nice. There we go. Nice, nice, bold color on the back. Look at the fade on this one right here. How bold this one is. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I can see it outside the camera, but uh, in the camera, you can't really tell. But that four is a lot bolder. Oh, and a third one. Apparently, we sent three of these. There we go. So we got the 2.5, the 4, and the 4.5. Very nice. Centered. And it looks like it's not scratched, but it looks like it's um, coming through a little bit over the years somehow. I'm not sure how, but I guess it can happen. All right, what is Bart Star here coming up? Second year Bart Star, that two. Lots of snowing on this one, which is pretty typical. Uh, I see that a lot. Uh, rounded corners, but it's a nice, nice second year card of a great, great Hall of Famer. So we want to get that one graded. Corners are pretty rounded. There you go. Nice yes. Now this, all this bl black on there, that's all manufacturing flaw. Um, but outside of that, man, what a good looking rookie of the yes. Very nice looking. And this one has really nice corners. I mean, for the most part, I mean, this is a great example of a of a nice of a nice looking card. I mean, a little tiny edge issue down here. If you can see it there, just a little tiny edge issue, but. That's a great looking card for a three. Someone's gonna get a good deal, a good deal on it. Have two of this next one here. Oh, and they both came back fours. 1957 Tops Hit Stars. And these are an oversized card, like the 56s and earlier. Um, and I really like oversized cards. Uh, I call them the big cards. A uh, little crease in the corner up here. Um, Off-centered here. Off-centered top bottom here. They're both off-centered, what am I saying? Uh, but really good looking cards of James Dean during his very short, um, super popular era. Nice clean backs. Good looking cards. I don't remember that one having a crease, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's just ever so light. 
very very light crease doesn't break the surface of the paper or like that but those are pretty cool okay 50, uh, 59 Clemente and a four great surface on this card just your typical touched corners but great surface man what a good looking example that is that's going to be a strong four what I would consider a strong selling four because it's a good looking card 59 Don Drysdale third year card always off center it seems to be with these ones but I just thought they'd sneak her in the order um, I mean it's not like you gotta sneak it in it's not a high dollar card but I thought we'd just send it in and, and maybe make a few more bucks on it having it graded all right nice Willie that's two of them. Yep, two 1959 Willies, uh, the All-Star. Higher number card in the set. 2.5 and 1.5. Uh, this one's got some writing on the back. Somebody wrote, uh, they meant to write Giants, but they wrote Giants. Uh, and this one's got a much cleaner back. Nice looking cards. I mean, they're just so good looking. Like These are going to have a premium on them because of that eye appeal. Centering would also increase the premium, but... They're still good looking. Master Mentor, not a big dollar card here, um, but it's an old Willy card, and I've just been getting all the old super great ones from back in the day graded. Four on the Master Mentor. Okay, next up. Nice clean 61 tops. Brooksy, a little off centered. Very, very, very nice surface. Good looking card, good eye appeal, 5.5. 1960 Eddie Matthews, another great looking image. I mean, just the picture quality alone is just really good on these. Off centered a little bit, touched corners as usual, but good looking card, be easy to sell. And we'll get a little bit of a premium because of the, that picture quality is so good. And you know, someone's going to try to, someone's going to try to get me to sell it for less. And they're going to, they're going to try to buy the, the grade, not the card, but I'm going to have to tell them I need a little more for it. Nice Jim Cott rookie, the five. Quick story about this picture right here. Um, he was warming up for the game, and uh, the cameraman came and said, can I get a quick picture of you, you know, pretending, you know, just do like your throwing motion. And he's like, I can't pretend my throwing motion. He goes, how about I throw I throw, a, I throw the ball, and you take the picture as I'm throwing it so I can get a, a better a better picture, you know, of the throwing motion, because he couldn't fake it. Anyways, um, so he says he threw the ball, <laughs> went to throw the ball to the catcher, and uh, he, he was so focused on the picture that he threw the ball wide, and he hit somebody, and right at the second the guy snapped the picture, he hit the guy and he reacted so he says that, that face is actually from hitting a guy and going ah, basically but I don't know if it's true or not but that's Jim Cott's story from his mouth so uh, pretty funny pretty funny story and also got a couple more of these seven with a five and then another five and a 4.5 so three rookies of the uh, or, yeah three Hall of Fame rookies Jim Cott so pretty cool uh, very very nice list 4.5 is beautiful beautiful uh, this one's uh, the surface of it's significantly not as beautiful but this one is a beautiful example that no 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 real black issues with it with the uh manufacturing the back is very very clean i almost wonder if they got these in the wrong case this one's got a lot of edge issues and centering is quite a bit more off but this one is just i wonder if they pulled a psa on me and accidentally swapped the cards and put them in the wrong case because this one's way nicer than this one i'll definitely ask for more money for this one than this one this one's got a pretty good edge issue right here Oh, sorry about that. I got the baby crying in the background. Let me go see where Mama is. Hold on. All right, and we are back. And that only took a split second for you guys. All right, 61 tops. Baseball thrills. Lou Gehrig. Just a cool looking card. It's an old card. Obviously, long past displaying days. But um, nice looking card. And 5.5. Uh, okay, another 60 tops, Willie. Man, I got a lot of these Willies I didn't even realize. But look at the look at the surface on this thing. It's just. A little crease right there in the middle, but outside of that, look at that eye appeal. That's what got her to three. Nice looking card. All right, last one for that box. Hey, a Gordy Howe, 6.5, 79 tops from his playing days. I think that I'm not a hockey expert, um, but I think this is his last playing days card. Pretty cool though. I just want to get it graded just for fun. <laughs> 6.5. Maybe a little bit nicer as a 7, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, next box up. Hold on a second.
three. All right, we're back. We go, an old Carl Malone rookie and a six. Another one that I knew was not going to grade high, but I just thought <clears throat> it's, it'd get a little, little bit better money if I got it graded rather than selling it raw. All right, here's a nice card. Uh, I knew it was going to grade low again, but a uh, nice looking second year Pete Rose with a rookie cup. I just always liked this card. I've had him in the past, got him graded, um, and I uh, always regretted selling him, so I'm like, I gotta keep one of those sometime. This one has some issues right here on the back, uh, but anyways, nice looking second year. Just a great card. I love that card. All right, here's that Patrick Wall rookie I pulled a long time ago in uh, one of my old videos. If you just search um, Frank Specie and then 1986 Tops Hockey, uh, that video should pop up. But that was a really good video. I pulled basically exactly what you should pull out of three packs, considering it's a small set. There's a lot of Hall of Famers. And, uh, yeah, good video. That's cool. Patrick Wall rookie. And he, I knew right out of the pack when I looked it over, it was not going to get a nine, but that's okay. Uh, nice O.J. Simpson rookie. And four. Yeah, that Patrick Waugh. Um, pack fresh, man. Pulled right out of the pack. But uh, he just had that normal normal 80s stuff. You know, I tell everybody, yeah, he's going to come out in near mint to mint condition, like in an eight. And then you hope for the nine. And the stars line, you get the 10. <laughs> but uh, here's the 77 Owen Ryan and a six. Just a nice looking, really nice looking Owen Ryan. I mean, it's, it's a super clean six. Just little itty bitty touches here and there. But like I, said, I like those 70s Owen Ryan. I was getting graded. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 81, 82 tops, and a 6. Thought this one was going to do a slightly better. I was thinking 7, but maybe I missed something. You tell me. This card is extremely clean. Could be the centering. Maybe killed it a little bit more, but uh, I guess she is kind of significantly off. I mean, 70, 30-ish. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 75, 25. I mean, it's pretty, it's, I don't know. Anyways, lower than I thought. Uh, another 60 tops, Willie Mays. You guys are going to start checking the numbers. Make sure I really have the same, this many Willie Mazes in a three because they all come back threes. There you go. Another nice looking Willie. Very nice looking. Centered. Great eye appeal. Good picture quality. Clean back. That's going to be another nice Willie that's going to sell for better than an off centered Willie or an ugly Willie. All right. So 54 tops. Ted Williams. Last card in the set here. Low grade, but I didn't care. It's probably going to be a one. Wanted it graded. Might be a 1.5. Who knows? Oh! That was definitely totally. Basing it off the back, the back looked pretty rough, but man, that front looks great. Look at that eye appeal. Mostly centered. Great looking card. Iconic card, too. And I'm so happy with a three. It's It's got a great surface on it. It's just got some rounded corners. Typical of a three. I saw these down here, and I was like, oh, I hope they're going to kill me. Maybe. I don't know. But um, I don't even know if I've seen a... <laughs> I don't even know if I paid attention to the back of this card. That's when I graded. But if you look up here, it says C-Tops card number one for biography and official baseball statistics because he's the number one card in the set, and he's the last card in the set, number 250. The number one card has uh, shows more of a uh, half his body um, holding a bat, uh, and it's got the orange background. I always like this one a little bit better. But that's a cool one. And don't tell my lady. That one might stay in the old PC. 62 Mick. Oh, so we might have two of them. Two threes. There you go. Got to get the mix graded. Always get the mix graded. Off-centered on this one. Better on this one. Um, better surface on this one than this one. This one's got a little bit of a paper issue there. You can see on this cheekbone there. Not not super, super clean, but this one's much cleaner. And what are you going to do? That's how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. There's always things about one that if you could switch it with the other one, it would just make it so much better. A nice 59 tops, Mickey. A two. I think this one has, yeah, really nice clean surface on this one here too, for for the most part. A little little something there, but uh, really nice card. I think it's had a little bit of, there's just a slight creasing on the back here. That's what held that one back right there, but. I mean, this one had a, well, it's got the issues on the, bottom, on the edges there. Like, if the paper stock was dark, you would see that like crazy, but because it's white stock with a white surface, you don't see it. So it looks a lot better from a distance, but uh, it's a really good looking card but they got the grade right they got the grade right all right 57 yogi got it graded because it's yogi we love yogi at that typical snowing on the 57 tops like usual and a typical corners touched and so on and so forth but a nice looking card i don't see any creases on the surface just a nice looking three yeah i mean i guess the picture quality could be slightly better but typical three 61 tops willie another one i think that's makes what three or four of these ones too Apparently I got on a little run where I was picking up some willies. I'm never out like shopping for specific players. I just 
I just buy what's available. I think I got a good run on some willies. Pitch seven tops, number one card in the set again, Ted Williams. Last card, no, it's not not his last card. He's got a, he's got that uh, the 59, 58 All Star. I think he's got. Might even, might even have, might even have a. I think it's 58 All Stars. Is uh, and he got the 58 tops card. So, I think those are his last tops cards. But I could be wrong, so I'm not thinking a lot about it. But I think so. Nice. That's a really nice looking card, though. Great picture. Really good picture quality. I spent way too long just showing that card. <laughs> 58 tops, Roberto Clemente. So it's going to be. Fourth year card, a rookie being a 56 tops, but got it graded. Any 50s Clementes, I'm getting graded. So, all right, Rod Carew rookie and a five. That one's not too bad. Nice Hall of Fame rookie and a high number card, too, or higher number card, anyways. I call that semi high. Good looking card. Really nice, clean example. And she's so got a little bit of a border on her, too. So, that makes her very, very cool. I don't know why I call it a her. All right, Bob Gibson rookie. There's a good one. Uh, 2.5. Centering notoriously off. I did get one of these graded one time, and it came back a beautiful centered 5.5 uh, by PSA. But this is a really good looking card. It's just a notorious off centered card, but a great, a great Hall of Fame rookie of a great player. And Raj again, 61 tops. Love it. The year he hit 61, 61, 61. Good looking card, centered, nice. Someone's gonna love that card. And another 60 tops. I gotta count these up. That might be five or five, I think. Clean, clean card. 4.5, very clean though. Mantle and Boyer. Pretty uh, common card you see a lot for cheap mantles. Uh, got a nice black line there. That's your typical uh, manufacturing flaw, roller marks from when they're, probably when they were rolling these, uh, these sheets out. And printing new uh, 3.5 there's a good high number card here a card a lot of people need in their set 67 brooks robinson big money card and high grade and uh, uh way more expensive than a typical 60s brooks robinson card or later 60s because the, the high number ends these high numbers are real really expensive compared to the rest of them but that's a card i actually needed for my set so i'm gonna probably hold on to that right there for my i said i might sell it i don't know and another one of these right here so i got two of these 3.5 and 5.5 Sorry, 3.5 and a 5. 5 is nice. Nice clean 5. Very nice. Mostly centered. Mostly centered. Top to bottom and left to right. Uh, very clean back. And last card. Dr. J, 81 tops. And a 6. So I come back the same as the uh, Kareem. I was thinking 7s on both. Definitely thinking 7s on both. So I'm guessing it's probably a 7, but that centering dropped her down to a 6. Sometimes you just don't know where the centering. I mean, I know if it's slightly off, you're probably not going to get a 10. You're going to get a 9 if it's like 60-40. Once you get much past that, they, it really comes into play with the grade. So, all right, that's going to do it for this one here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And we'll see you. I got, let's see, I got two PSA orders coming back, one almost done, and then three more coming back probably in a month or two. And I have one more SGC order coming back in a couple weeks. Well, probably a week, week, week and a half. I dropped it off at Dallas. So I'll let you know what we get there, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.